First up, Celeron. Now imagine you're trying to get around town and all you have is a squeaky old bicycle. That's Celeron. It gets you from point A to point B, but don't expect it to win any races. It's cheap, slow, and really only meant for the basics, like checking emails, writing essays, or maybe watching YouTube as long as you don't open 20 tabs at once. These chips usually end up in budget laptops and school Chromebooks, perfect for students just typing papers or if your grandma wants to check Facebook. But if you try gaming on it, well, that's like trying to run a marathon in flip-flops. You'll regret it halfway through. Next is Pentium, which is kind of like an electric scooter. It's still not a car, but at least it's got a motor. Pentium gives you a little more speed and a smoother ride compared to Celeron. You can stream Netflix, join Zoom calls, browse the web, even multitask a bit without it crying in pain. It's a good option for people who want something cheap, but don't want to feel like their laptop is stuck in 2004. Of course, it's not built for heavy gaming or editing. Uh, asking Pentium to do that is like asking the kid who always got picked last in dodgeball to suddenly dunk like LeBron James. But for students, Office workers or casual users, it does the job just fine. 